Famed designer Charles Eames once said, take your pleasure seriously. And that short but powerful statement is a great reminder that life well lived is more than just eat, sleep, work, and weekends. Your joyful life is something to invest in seriously. Before I discovered my personal ikigai or my life's worth, I was lost in life and my career. I kind of felt like my whole life was based on weekends and vacation time. It would be my only fun time. I felt like I was doing a job that would pay the bills, but it wasn't really fulfilling. I dreaded getting up in the mornings. I felt buried in the idea that life was only gonna be a series of well-paid jobs that would suck the life out of me. Until I wondered one day, what can I do that's fun. Now that I know my guy, I'm able to look at my life and career with a renewed sense of purpose and joy. Oh, by the way, my name is Tim Tamashiro. My guy is to delight. I'm the author of How to Ikigai, and I also teach a digital guy class called Do What You Love. Ikigai is the Japanese word for the reason you get up in the morning. It can give you a sense of direction in life that you might not have otherwise. And Ikigai is a map that has four directions. Do what you love, do what you're good at, do what the world needs, and do what you can be rewarded for. Sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Now, the Ikigai 30-Day Purpose Challenge is a journey with a goal of discovering why you get out of bed every day. Ikigai is definitely meant to be an enlightening experience. It's a lifestyle that encapsulates our mission for our lives and provides us with direction. It's all about finding the actions that are fun and rewarding to you and helping others as well. So in this challenge, you'll get the chance to explore new hobbies and activities that might not have been on your radar before. You can explore potential future careers and find out what really makes you happy. So let's get started. The Ikigai 30 Day Purpose Challenge is dedicated you time. When was the last time you dedicated 30 days to yourself and your own self-discovery? So to discover your own Ikigai, you must answer two very important questions. What do I love to do and what am I good at? Now those are literally the two most important questions to answer in your lifetime. Without answers to those two questions, you are rudderless and you're floating out there in an ocean of uncertainty. But there are plenty of other benefits to finding your Ikigai. When you have a sense of purpose in your life, you feel much more alive and engaged with the world, but you also are better equipped to handle challenging circumstances because you have confidence that your life has meaning and direction. Step one is to simply explore. And this step is going to take up the majority of the next 30 days because it's that important. To explore means that you ask yourself the most essential question of Ikigai, and that is, what do you love to do? To explore means that you put your wants and needs into action. It means travel and hiking and wall climbing and learning how to play the cello, doing art, uh, learning how to dance, learning how to fly a helicopter, or maybe taking up skateboarding. If you're interested in it, then go and do it. You're gathering evidence for what brings joy to you and benefits others as well. Nothing in your life is possible without exploring and gathering evidence. Too often we become grown-ups and we forget how to explore and play. Exploration, though, is essential for gathering evidence for a thoughtful and meaningful Ikigai. So here are some things that you can do over the next 21 days during your explore stage. You can learn a new skill, pursue an old passion, practice something called time affluence. In other words, spend your time doing what you want to do with it. You can volunteer to help others. You can practice gratitude, or you could even plan a vacation of a lifetime. Lastly, and maybe even the first thing you do, is you write out and check off items from your own bucket list. And then the second step in the process of Ikigai is to zero in. As you take action and you start to understand your passions, fascinations, and curiosities, you'll begin to realize that there are some things on your list that once you've done them once, you no longer want to continue doing them. And that's good feedback. Actually, doing the things you've been curious about will help you eliminate the things that are not truly your ikigai. We all have fascinations, but those don't always lead to doing what you love to do or what you're good at. 
But the process of taking action on the things that interest you and the process of eliminating them too will help you zero in on the actions that you are good at and that you love to do. The zero in segment of Ikigai might also lead you to discovering something about yourself that you didn't really expect. <laughs> For example, you might realize that you are not actually interested in being a painter but instead you're interested in helping people see the beauty in painting. You might also be really good at art appreciation and sharing that experience with others. So zeroing in is an important necessary step in Ikigai and it will take you eventually to step number three. The third step in the process of Ikigai is to ponder. In this stage, you will be putting your subconscious to work. Your subconscious is such a powerful computer. In fact, according to studies, your subconscious is one million times more powerful than your conscious mind. A million times! In the ponder stage though, you'll want to put your subconscious mind to work on your behalf. So you've already explored all the things you're interested in. You've zeroed in on the actions that have given you the best feedback. And now in the ponder stage, you're just going to stop doing everything and you'll let your subconscious do all the work for you. Eventually, your Ikigai will present itself to you in the form of some kind of an action. Your Ikigai will be a verb or action that is thrilling for you to do, but helpful to others when you do it. Your Ikigai will start with the preposition to, and then end with the action term that uniquely identifies you. For me, it's to delight. For you, that might be to teach or to build or to lead. But whatever action your subconscious has provided to you, that will be the only direction you'll need to follow for your Ikigai. So explore, zero in and ponder. It sounds very simple, doesn't it? But to understand your Ikigai, you must at least follow these rules to find new paths forwards. Uh, I hope that you find the opportunity to use the next 30 days as an investment in your future. But like anything worthwhile, the effort you put into yourself and your own personal discovery is essential to create a new future for yourself. Your future self depends on the actions that you do today and tomorrow and in the weeks and months to come. Ikigai is a lifestyle that is acted upon daily. The good news is that once you've figured out what your Ikigai is, all you have to do is follow it. This is what Charles Eames meant when he said, take your pleasure seriously. So spend the next 30 days on you. Do more you. And make sure you grab your free PDF guide for your 30 day challenge below. If you'd like some more information about Ikigai, maybe check out this next video here. It's all about Ikigai for beginners. Good luck.